Hey, hey this is Matt Sun and welcome to our video. Welcome back. So, uh, because of the Valentine's time, uh, we were kind of thinking about some deeper stories mm -hmm. of our relationship that we would like to actually share with you guys. And we find it's gonna be pretty interesting actually because there are kind of like secrets. <laughs> More yeah. deeper insights mm -hmm. of what we have been through and uh, maybe dig out more feelings mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. ourselves to each other, of our relationship. And also we would like to say that we just passed uh, seven years of being together, uh -huh. which is a crazy number. Yeah. You know? uh, and over one year of being in a marriage. So <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it is a long journey actually. Yeah. First of all, what is our first impression to each other? Oh God, it's been so long, like a long time ago yeah, that we met true. up and it was actually in a party. I think we mentioned that mm -hmm. in one of the mm -hmm. videos. My impression, I would say first, yeah. uh, was that when I saw her, I was super interested in her because I mean, I'm not gonna deny it because she's Asian, yeah? <laughs> and I already had like, uh, during that time, I had this uh, crush on Asians mm -hmm. overall. Like, I like this uh, appearance and I like this culture as well. I was reading more and more about those things mm -hmm. and I uh, so much wanted to have Asian girls. Of course, when I saw her at the party, I was super impressed. However, uh, to be very reasonable, I mean, because, you know, there is not like a... Uh, amazing story to it that she fell down from heaven and I was like a super handsome one, no. Uh, uh -huh. So to make it more reasonable, uh, I was interested in Asians overall and so that's why I started to talk to her. My first impression since we met in this friend's house party and there were many people and uh -huh. it was my first few days in Poland so everything was a big shock and everything was new for me. So I wasn't really looking for any relationship or any boyfriend specifically. So I wasn't really paying attention to specific people's face. Yeah? So when he introduced himself to me, I was like, oh, yeah, like, nice guy. <laughs> she wasn't thinking how pervy this guy is about his finger. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I remember that you were quite gentleman look because all your friends were wearing t-shirts and more chill out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, outfits and you as always is very <laughs> formal <laughs> so that was my first impression like that like, is that a <laughs> gentleman photoshop is the businessman in the party yeah, so I, I did remember that you were quite gentleman and quite calm mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. quite mature behavior that was mm -hmm. the first in the beginning when I first saw you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and then later on in the in that same party, we finally got the chance to talk to, to each other. So I had better feeling to you, but nothing like love. I just feel like, oh, okay, it's quite cool. This uh -huh. guy. Yeah. My forever pickup line back then is like. You are from Taiwan, so I know Taipei one of them. <laughs> and then she was just... I was... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she wasn't. Yeah, but I was impressed. Yeah. I was like saying to myself deeply inside, I have to say something, I have to take this girl, like I have to talk to her. I want to succeed. Yeah. Uh -huh. On the second day we went out for the date, yeah. So mm -hmm. That second date was like really good, that's called first impression on him, because he was really caring and very helpful, very considerable, mm -hmm. helping me to mm -hmm. read through all the menus and care about what I think. And I think that was a very, very good impression that I had on him. Okay. And we just got together after second date. <laughs> Yeah. It sounds so cheap, but yeah, I mean that's true, like second day we were basically together, yeah, mm -hmm. so... But what was your first impression to me on that official date? Official date? Yeah, when we went out. Uh, it might sound very scary for me, because when, like, I don't know why, but when we were talking about something, Somehow you were talking about sexual things, like, 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 <laughs> really? like yeah, like, 
we were talking about some pictures or something, yes? And you were like, na 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 na, like sex, you know? Like, like I was like, I was like, I was shocked, like, oh my god, so is, isn't she too experienced for me or something? Like, I, was, I was worrying about this topic a bit, yes? Like, mm, however, it was a good impression. It, it was overall a very good one, and I think that, yes, I would love to. I was only worrying that soon you were gonna leave. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, in a month you were leaving, mm -hmm. and I was only worrying that. Like, you know, everyone has their own doubts and I was thinking like, oh my god, so she will leave and she will forget about me, you will not make it and so on. Especially, you once said something like, when we were meeting up and I was like already worrying and so on and you said like, I oh, know, that's life, yeah? I see. Uh, yeah, you said that, I was like, damn it. <laughs> I would say that her character has changed. It was different than right now. I cannot really explain it how, but it has changed mm -hmm. and I think you are cuter right now. Cuter? Yes. Really? You were more... Tougher? T you were kind of tougher that time, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really funny. I thought, I thought it would be opposite, actually. Right now I would say you are more like this. That you are, when you are cute, you are cute. And uh -huh. when you are pissed, you are really a bitch. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> to people. I would say you are pretty much the same. Who <laughs> you were. More nerdy, but it's just about the, your hobby has mm -hmm. been changed. But more or less you are the same person. Let's go with the second question, because we have so many of them. Um, How would you describe your relationship? Uh, stable? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this. Right now, I think our relationship is really stable. Mm -hmm. Except kids, everything else. Yes, what like, we like, need in life, we already have it. Yeah. We used to be more crazy, and we were going to many concerts in our life. We are spending most of the time outside in a bar and so on. And traveling a lot. And traveling super much. And right now we are like this, traveling less, spending more time at home. When we really want to go out, we are like, actually, here is everything that we need. Uh -huh. So we are getting more and more lazy. However, there is this fire in our relationship uh -huh. that we really have some desire. Okay, let's finally go out to do something. Uh -huh. Or we are having parties, we are having lots of parties, mm -hmm. but at home. We are, we are just <laughs> buying beer and we are just, you know, experiencing it at home in front of Xbox right now. But, <laughs> but the, 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 we still love to spend time with each other. And I'm very happy about Sansan that she's willing to, uh, to understand mm -hmm. the mechanical things, the, like the IT things that mm -hmm. I'm showing her. And meanwhile, I'm interested in her point of view about mm -hmm. many things yes. or something about Taiwan, like the Taiwan government politics and so on. Because mm -hmm. it's like this, like we really fit together. Even any time I have to have some trip to, to, the, to the like clients at my work mm -hmm. or something, any, anything connected to my work or anything that I have to be away from her, mm -hmm. I don't like it. I hate this actually. I, if I have to have, a, like if I have, for example, a proposal, of uh, having a great work and I will earn so much but I have to be outside for a month or mm -hmm. two I, I wouldn't take it even because right <laughs> now I, I just don't find it good in our life mm -hmm. I, I don't like it, yes? I couldn't be somebody who is living somewhere mm -hmm. without her like if we travel, we travel together that's the yeah. point uh, Next one Third question What do you like the most about each other? I like it that you are very patient okay. and uh, you are calm and you are, as I say, very considerable, very sensitive person. Uh -huh. So to explain it more, uh, I feel like because I'm a very hot-head person, yeah, like, mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. you say, when I go angry, I go like a total bitch. So many times doesn't matter on the street or dealing with some frustrating things, uh, let's say in an immigration and so on. So I uh, like swearing, I'm super angry, like pff, bursting myself. But mm -hmm. he's like, it's, it's okay. It's Calm okay. down, <laughs> we will solve it and think rationally. Like he's always this this one to pull you back when you're too much in the front. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. So. so that is really great. And uh, as I say, he's very patient. So I am a person with no patience, yeah. But mm -hmm. many times you do need patience to, to do solve. things to uh, solve the problems. Uh, yeah. Doesn't matter about fixing things at home or dealing with more complicated case, yeah. So it's always great to have him, 
don't know, in many cases I'm lazy, like I don't want to open this box or this tie because it's too complicated and he's like, oh, come on, and then he's like dealing with it <laughs> or, or like we have broken trousers and I'm even too lazy to sew it up and he's always this patient guy like, mm, just doing this housework <laughs> sensitive and very considerable so this is what I like about you that it never changed that you are always very detailed person and always mm -hmm. deal with those little things in life that I don't like to take her off. So that is really nice of you. Okay. Uh, what I like the most. That's about great. That's yeah. I would say something totally opposite about uh, mm -hmm. this. Like what I like about her is the energy. Uh, it's uh -huh. the power. It's the burn fire. <laughs> uh, that uh, you know. I think if I don't have her, mm -hmm. I would be still. Living in Paris, I think. Even, really? Know, like, I, I, I don't want to say. I think pretty much like that. Mm -hmm. It's like this. Like uh, I think without her, I wouldn't going out. I wouldn't be going out so often. Mm -hmm. I would be mostly stay at home, staying at home. I wouldn't be, be traveling. I wouldn't be traveling. I wouldn't be like going, going just to so many places. Yes, and also like I have a big stress if it's about flying and I believe I would never fly <laughs> if I'm without her so she is pushing me to do those more crazy let's say things is crazy yeah? like to really go out somewhere yes mm -hmm. she's pushing so much many times that I'm so like oh, no 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 but actually when she pushed me then I enjoy it a lot that oh great we did something today yes I'm uh -huh. so happy that we did it life is more uh, spicy. Spicy, let's say. Exciting. Exciting with her, definitely, yes. And she let me keep my nerdiness, that I can stay at home playing video games. She also enjoys it, that I can do my uh, things of fixing, because I love fixing. Uh, anything like that is also, like, she's okay with that, mm -hmm. so it's really great. Fourth. What was the <laughs> biggest fight in our relationship? The biggest fight. Well, we both know. We both happens. know. There was one and it's so obvious. Like, we will not forget about this. Mm -hmm. And you, you should say it. <laughs> okay, it was um, one of the party that we spent with his friends, many friends. Mm. And there is a girl, he's, it's like, that girl was his female friend, mm -hmm. uh, as always, that he claimed. And I, I believe nothing happened, but like, that was the first. No, nothing, party. nothing, really, nothing. Yeah, so that was the first party that I met her in person. She was kind, nice, and I know that by appearance she is his type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I you know my radar of enemy is already kind of triggered, but I was like, okay, calm down, calm down, because they're friends. Okay, <laughs> so we were sitting together, basically, I'm on this side and she's on the other side. And, and we were engaged already. We were engaged, yeah. So. Um, during this whole evening, I don't really know the reason, maybe you didn't meet up for a long time, you are catching up with each other, but overall during this whole night, I felt that he was spending more time with her than me. Mm -hmm. and, you know, in the middle of the party, I was kind of getting angry already, got this jealous feeling, so I was spending more time with his friends, like male friends, next to him to mm -hmm. make him jealous, but he was kind of too busy to deal with that girl, so... Oh I got super... <laughs> Don't burn right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm calm, but that night I was really angry. And uh, after we go back home, uh, I don't remember how we started that fight. But I, I, I think I was crying and I was yeah. uh, shouting, we were drunk. So everything got more aggressive. And I, at the end of that fight, I smashed my engagement so ring. Bad. So sad. Yeah, I don't remember what I say though. I say something like, oh, well, so let's just break up. Something like that, maybe. Yeah. Like, I think you, you didn't really say break up, but you were just saying something in meanwhile you threw the ring. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, that time I was saying that, gee, I'm so bad. That was so bad. Yeah, I was, I was drunk. And uh, I didn't really control myself that time. And uh, I, I promised her that something like that will never really happen. And it didn't. Uh -huh. Really didn't, yeah. Uh -huh. um, so I'm not really talking with that person. Uh -huh. I actually f really, really am not talking. Like it has been so long actually uh -huh. right now. And, and I, I would also an advice to anybody who is willing to do such shitty things, yes, that 
Just imagine this like this person that you engage, that you want to spend the rest of the life with mm -hmm. this person, yes? And for something that's stupid, you're gonna ruin the whole yeah. whole future. Yeah. And that person that you're gonna maybe cheat even mm -hmm. with, so you will have a pleasure for a day or a few hours. Mm -hmm. And that will ruin something that you are working on for so long, yeah? yeah that's true. And maybe that person that you are cheating with, Maybe she just wanted to have something casual and she will anyways forget about you. So, yeah, you know, it's a big lose for you, so don't do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, really, really. I am, that yeah. was an asshole movement, mm. the biggest asshole movement <laughs> in my whole life, yes. <laughs> However, I, I, I personally, I cannot really say anything bad, bad about her, about this kind of things. Mm -hmm. She's very loyal, mm -hmm. very loyal. Never really did anything. No. Only some guys were typing to her, which is super annoying. But <laughs> no, 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 nothing is really, no, nothing, nothing really bad. Critical, nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing. I'm a loyal person. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, in all my whole life, all those relationships, I was always the one who was being betrayed. Yeah? So mm -hmm. I really hated so much about a person cheating. Mm -hmm. yeah, this behavior just disgusts me so much. And However, even though it was like the biggest fight, but we made it up super fastly, I think. Actually, on the actually next when day we... or on the same night, I don't remember. Yes. But it was fast. At night, I was already saying sorry. Mm -hmm. And we are very good at this, that when we fight, we deal with the problem in one day. Yeah. Because... A few hours even. That's that's useless to, you know, pack the things and go out and then mm -hmm. someone has to drive. No, no, sorry. No, no, I don't uh, I don't trust mm -hmm. you anymore. And then, you know, and it, it's gonna continue. When you are in a fight, you just deal with this problem in one day because yeah. uh, like just sit and talk. And that's what mm -hmm. we actually did. Mm -hmm. so we usually talk and then after the talk, of course, uh, the, the anger is still there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you need some time mm -hmm. for your yeah. emotion to, to go down. So I after the talk, I'm still a bit unhappy, but you know, we clear up the situation and within an hour or two, I'm okay. And we're mm -hmm. okay, we start to talk stupid joke. Usually, he's the person who breaks the ice. I'm the stubborn one, always like, no, no, I'm not gonna say sorry. No, I'm angry. <laughs> yeah, that's also what's great about you. You are willing to give your head up first. The next one, <laughs> who is taking care of who? Oh, I can say that. Uh -huh. Mostly she is taking care of me. <laughs> I am the most retarded in this relationship. After me is the dog. Like I'm more, <laughs> the retarded, more retarded duo. Than the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she many times I think she feels like she has two babies, uh -huh. literally. <laughs> many times I'm just like I don't want to wake up. Uh, I don't know actually waking up waking is pretty up, fast. But anyway, uh, not about this, like about the whole mess. Like I do something and I leave mess on the table, or leave mess there, and she's super angry that oh, why you didn't clean it up, you clean mm -hmm. it up, do something, yes. Uh, have shower, why you don't have shower? <laughs> Mostly she's taking care of me, but at the critical situations, like really something serious going on, mm -hmm. I am taking care of her. Very Cause, much. <laughs> thank you. Because <laughs> we had problems with the immigration mm -hmm. office, for example, there was like a, some bigger problem. Mm -hmm. But and she was kind of breaking down, and I was <laughs> I was the one who has to you know do something with mm -hmm. her, like mm -hmm. like to really keep her alive, uh, to make her legal in Poland, legal in Poland and, uh -huh. you know, like, we've been through, through some, some struggles, mostly about this immigration mm -hmm. or about work, for example, mm -hmm. yes, and, mm -hmm. um, and I had to kind of, like, make her believe in herself, like, make her <laughs> that we really can do, do something, yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah. about those, I think, if it's something really critical, I can call it down, actually. Yeah. What if you never met each other? Mm -hmm. So you first. Me first. Okay. If we never met uh -huh. each other, I think, as I already said, that I would probably be in the place that I was or mm -hmm. before and really and so on. I was mm -hmm. already saying that. Mm -hmm. However, I also something personal, but anyways, I will share um, that uh, I was I wasn't in a relationship, mm -hmm. but there was somebody yeah who I used to, I was with a relationship mm -hmm. yes, and that somebody was very toxic. I have to say like it was a the most toxic relationship I've ever had in my whole life. Uh -huh. And I believe that person was so obsessed and so scary in a point that I somehow was always going back to that person. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Voodoo. <laughs> Voodoo. Yeah, I mean, that person was really weird because everything 
including my parents, everybody was saying, this is bad, don't do that, don't come back to her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I always did. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I'm not with her and I eventually don't find anybody, mm -hmm. I would go back, I believe I would go back to that person. And you know, if we make a, somehow a family with that person, I mm -hmm. think it would be a disaster really. Like everything was so bad. Especially you, you didn't really enjoy the moment with her. She wasn't yeah, beautiful yeah. and she wasn't that clever or she didn't have that many things in common with you, as you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, so. it, was, it was very weird. Like I, I was with that person for a while on me, mm -hmm. actually, to be honest. I was with that person and then Every time I was going back, she was making drama about everything, yeah? And it was so toxic, like, literally after spending one time with that person, I was, like, already having enough. Mm -hmm. So I believe if I would be with that person, I would become alcoholic. <laughs> and, I mean, it was... That I see the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, it would be very bad, actually. Mm -hmm. no, crazy, crazy. So I'm very glad I found somebody like this. <laughs> However, I think your story would be better. If you, don't, you are not with me, you would manage. And I think you would be abroad. Yeah, because I always want to be abroad. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so if I didn't meet you, I will be going to other countries, try to find a job abroad. Doesn't matter where it is. I'm not really having any limitation on myself. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be Europe or anywhere. I yeah. think it would be US if you would be alone you know, somewhere. Yeah, I was always kind of up to mm -hmm. going, to, going to US. So it might be, it depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, hard to say if I would stay with any specific, I don't know, Asian, Caucasian, whatever, mm -hmm. like, I'm also not limited to that, so everything would depend on the time, mm -hmm. but I think I would end up abroad. Uh -huh. So that was all the that questions, nice. and it was very touching, uh, touching. Yeah, <laughs> and we didn't expect that, uh -huh. yeah, it's supposed to be a fun video, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> So now you know more details about us, we mm -hmm. are really not really afraid of sharing anything deeper about our relationship mm -hmm. because anyway everything is transparent everything is transparent yeah. so that's that's it and hope that's you guys it. like the video please subscribe like like comment page see you in the next video <laughs> bye, -bye. See you. bye bye <laughs>